Hey everyone, I'm going to get into a trade recap slash uh, video lesson here on how I played these this low float madness uh, that was today. Uh, all in all, pretty pretty good day. So uh, I ended up missing the first move here on HMMY because this wasn't the first trade I took. I was involved with some other ones, but HMMY happens to be up on my screen here first, so we'll, uh, we'll take a look at that. So it dumped out, and then on the retracement in here, as it's kind of rejecting the BWAP, looking really weak, I got on in on this pop here. Once it started, you could tell it just popped and just rejected, looking really weak. Um, started coming down, so that was good. Um, ramped up, and then it actually put in a, uh, a fresh low, but it also double bottomed. So it ended up coming up, and I stopped out for a loss. I was looking for a reset on this, uh, so it popped back up, and um, right on this candle, um, you see how it was in and around nine, the whole number of nine. Uh, I had a an order out at nine ten, and ended up getting a fill, um, risk on high of day, um, thinking that I really didn't think it would break high of day. Um, come down and uh, made some money, just kind of chopped around. And right here, I was I, actually right in this area, uh, time-wise, uh, I was talking to everyone in chat, and this goes for pretty much every single low floater I played. I told them that these, you can just tell, all these are going to do at best is test lows and chop the rest of the day. If they haven't made their fucking move almost instantly, that's kind of how these low floaters work. It's just, it's not even worth holding because this is exactly what happens. They ramp like this at the end of the day through short coverage and all that shit. So they're super low floaters. Don't, I wouldn't hold these fucking things because you, you got to watch them like a hawk, right? So I ended up covering up. Uh, just after lunch on this dip and I was done in and out. That was it um, So made some made some decent money on each of my why ITUS So ITUS I got a really good average on this was actually my uh, um, My main watch for the morning and really it had to do with the the float because it was gonna move a lot nicer and and, and it did. Um, so on this one here, you can see right up here how it's it rejected the five, right? A little bit under the five. Well, I always set when I'm trying to catch tops on these, I'll set a stop 10 cents below. So, or uh, sorry, an order 10 cents below. Um, so I ended up getting a fill, uh, super high average. Um, and it just fucking instantly worked instantly dumped out got instant resolution tested the VWAP and failed um, and then like I said it chopped right that's all these were gonna do and like I said <clears throat> at best it would uh, it would try testing testing lows so just after lunch uh, just after noon um, I covered up as soon as it started coming down on this one it, uh, uh, the dip got bought. I was dealing with other trades, trying to close out positions, came back up, covered right in here. So I made some really good money on this one. And what did this do? Fucking wrapped at the end of the day, right? That's what these do. If they're going to chop like this, um, at best, they'll test lows. That's what this one did. It tested lows, right? And then it, it if it can't fail from there, after let's say maybe a quick quick kind of recovery they, they that's what these are going to do right because it's holding support now you're going to get all those penny stock dip buyers coming in and uh once it starts coming up now now your shorts are going to start scrambling and then they scramble and then we get a squeeze so that's what happened with it uh us um izea i didn't fuck around with i traded i was in and out on this one i did not want to mess around with this um, I had a feeling that that's what this is going to do. We discussed this in uh, pre-market that this would probably end up making a run for highs, um, if not uh, um, really getting crazy today. So I didn't want to screw around with this. So on the chart I was trading, 
Uh, I ended up uh, nailing the fucking top on this one too. You can see how I rejected the seven. Um, and, and like I said, that's, that's kind of, that's kind of my, um, uh, the rejection of whole dollars guys. That's, that's what I do. I mean, that's how I get in and out of fucking trades, um, is in and around whole numbers. So it's a large part of my strategy. Uh, got a killer average on this one again, 10 cents below and good to go. Got a fill. Uh, so as soon as it broke trend, you can see how this, how I had my, my line marked out. Um, I talked about that in chat as well. Um, follow as long as it held trend, I was going to hold. And if I gave one confirmation candle and out, I was not going to fuck around with IZEA. So it's funny because I got hit up on Twitter because I made a, a comment first thing in the morning. I, I can't stand Twitter. Um, I, I put out a tweet this morning that either it's going to be a really good day or a really bad day in reference to playing these low floaters. It's a joke. And of course, you see at the end of the day how all of these wrap back up the way they did. People must have thought that I got my ass handed to me or something. Guys, I don't get my ass handed to me on these fucking super low floaters. I'm way too careful. Way too careful. All of this on each and every one of these moves was discussed during chat. So um, I just I just find it funny. Um, a lot of these um, uh, types of tickers, you, you hear people get their fucking asses handed to them. There is no... Do not get stubborn with these. Um, on ITUS, you can tell that it moved a lot, a lot nicer, a lot cleaner, not towards the end of the day, but, um, just during the day, um, um, and in real time, actually, you could tell a lot better, just a lot smoother. And that has to do with the, the float, right? Uh, 14 million opposed to a 3 million float, completely different beast, completely different. Um, uh, low floaters are not all the same. A low floater is not just a low floater. Um, those super low floaters, and I, I, you know, and I discussed this in chat as well, you know, uh, pe we've all been lied to that these super low floaters, that's how you build accounts, that's how you, that's what beginners should start with. Fuck, these are not beginners, beginner level trades at all. Not, what, not even close, not even close. I, I don't think most of you guys should be fucking with these things. Look at how many professional day traders get their asses handed to them whenever they play these, right? You got to know how to trade these. You got to be careful, man. Like, do not fuck around with super low floaters. Um, you know, they're they're not for beginners. They're not for beginners. I, I can't stress that enough. And I hate that that's what um, beginners, a lot of beginners start with are these super low floaters and then they blow up their account within a fucking week or something. And then they, then they hate trading. Oh, it's a fucking, it's a scam. It's a, no, you're learning from the wrong people, man. Like you, you shouldn't be, you shouldn't be messing with this shit. But, uh, anyways, that's how I traded that. I took a few other trades. I traded EFX. I might as well just go over those quickly. EFX. Um, let me zoom in. I don't want to make this an overly long video. So dumped out, ramped up, showed signs of weakness at uh, this quick little double top. Um, I ended up getting short, got stopped out. Uh, no big deal. I figured this was, was going to go one of two ways, either ramp or crap uh, because of the news with the uh, the new, new CEO. Um, I know some people really in chat, they were a little more patient. I had other shit kind of going on and... Um, uh, they played the 104 rejection and really fucking nailed it. Yeah, they uh, they did really, really well here. It ramped up, but that's what these higher price stocks do. They kind of put in a bottom, double bottom or a higher low. Uh, buyers come in and ramp up. This is, it, this is, this long is pretty easy long as well. Um, and then SCG, SCG had some bad news come out, dump out, looked super weak. On this one, I chased weakness. I rarely do I chase weakness and uh, just got stopped out. So is what it is. But those are the trades for the day. And that's a lesson on how to play these, uh, this low float madness. Um, key lesson and takeaway from it. You shouldn't even bother with them. Shouldn't even bother. There's, there's better plays, better trades out there. Anyways, guys. Um, I will check you later. Thanks. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe, please.